Hey everyone, today in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the system tree notification. Uh, I'm sure you have come across like when you install the files or application or when you insert your pen drive into your laptop or computer, you see a message that comes up here, right? So we are trying to create a message pop-up so that um, you can notify to your users that the process is complete or like the file has loaded successfully. So in the initial part, I'm just going to show, quickly show you the demo and then I'm going to show you how you can use the code I put in together. So I'm just first just going to run this. I mean, just going to open this add-in file, which contains the code. And if you pay attention to this uh, area down here, you'll see this BB bytes. And then uh, it says that uh, the file is loaded successfully. Okay, so I'm just going to add a new file. I'm just going to go to my add-in file, this is my add-in file. The file name is called systemtraynotify.xlam, which is the add-in file. Okay, so here you'll see there are lots of codes which are been, uh, which are... Okay, so... Okay, so once you go into this module called notify-m, you'll see there are lots of codes which are you know, put in together, but you don't have to worry. You can just, um, you know, just let it be there. Don't change anything. So basically, all these are declarations and all the reference to the APIs in into your system. So all these DL files contains uh, the uh, the way to connect to your system in the most layman term. So just let it be here, okay? And then. Um, what you need to pay attention to is um, earlier when I was doing a demo, for example, I will it ran this code. So it says show the message, and then what message you want to show is DBA bytes add and loaded successfully. Okay, so if I just run this code, you'll see that there is a pop up down here, right? So similarly, you can create your own pop up when it open up or when it closes, or um, for instance. Um, so like I've said, don't be afraid of all these huge codes which are down, you know, put in together here. Uh, what you need to pay attention to is, as you scroll down towards the bottom, this, I've just bifurcated this part, so, and I put in the test, like, uh, how you can use them. For instance, um, this is, this is the function I put in together, which load the, the form, without which this, um, the APIs won't work, so it has to work, you know, together with uh, with it. So it basically, you basically just need to pass a message that you want to show, and then it will just load this particular, you know, user form, and this particular message X is a public variable which is up there uh, here. And the other thing you need to pay attention, or if you want, it's up to you. You can. You can assign a, you can assign an icon. So I've just this is an icon that I'm using for example. So when I run this, it just shows up uh, the message and then the icon that I have uh, referenced it to. So this is basically saying that the icon is located in this workbook dot path and then this is the the icon file. Okay. Okay. So if you have to use this uh, program for yourself. Or let's say that you have, let's say that you have a program or a, a subroutine which, um, let's say, um, process the cube or something. Okay, and then let's say that these are all your codes. Okay, and then uh, once it completes, you want to show up a message. So you basically just need to copy this, this uh, function, put it in the end, and then you can say. Um, hide the process of building the cube is completed. Uh, please check the database, for instance. So if I run this code right now, you'll see that uh, the message pops up here, okay? And this is the message that is going to pop up. And if you want to change the title of the, the pop up, the, this is where you will do the changes. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and run this. So hey, the process of building the cube is completed. Please save the database. So and then you can see there's a small icon that was pretty quick. So that is how you can use it uh, if you want to, you know, r show a message as soon as the workbook opens up. So this is where you will the workbook open event is what you want to you know look into and um, so um, that's uh, that's pretty much I have for you today and um, please try it out and um, I have put in the, the code description uh, the code and uh, I have put in the, the code uh, I put the link in the video descriptions for your further reading and the code so please check it out and uh, Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.